to see you, son. You too, Dad. Good to see you. <laughs> been a while. How has your weekend been at the con? Oh, fantastic. Wonderful people. The, just uh, not yesterday, yesterday I'm uh, signing, and then this guy turns up, and I notice his name's Otis. And I go, Otis Redding. So I start singing. Sitting on the dock of the bay. And then this guy Otis starts carrying on. Watching the time <laughs> go away. And I'm mesmerized. He starts singing the whole song for me. And he sounded just like Otis Redding. So anyway, that's a bit of Frisco Bay for you. So lovely to be here. <laughs> lovely to be here. Wonderful weekend. Yeah. I had a little bit of a cough. A little bit of a cough, cough on the chest there. But I had some medicine, so I feel a lot better. Feeling all right? Yeah. Daniel, how you about don't you? Don't worry about it. it was, <laughs> I got over it, I think. I got over it, brother. I wanted to thank you for bringing your Maori roots to Boba Fett. I think it really made the character so much more amazing than he already was. And I just really appreciate that. Thank you. It was more of an energy thing. You know, we have, uh, we have uh, our dancers and mm -hmm. our... And I'd also been trained in what we call the taiaha, which is a staff, mm -hmm. like the Maori weapon with a head and a, a tongue and a body. So uh, I based a lot of the, the, my gaffy stick work on my uh, taiaha style. So I was able to utilize the stick pretty good because I'm good at the taiaha. So, and it was more of an energy thing too, to, to keep... Uh, just to kind of have a, have a like a underlying uh, like a energy source here. Yeah. But I didn't want to get too carried away. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise we might scare everybody because we do get a bit carried away with the haka. Mm -hmm. The All Blacks do it before a big game of rugby. They do the haka to stimulate themselves into, uh, into a good physical place to win the game. But it never worked against South Africa recently. <laughs> so <laughs> it was a World Cup too. And we're still crying in New Zealand actually. If you get to New Zealand anytime soon, you'll see we're all still crying over that All Black World Cup. It was a referee, anyway. I'm curious if you have any... It's been so long. There's, there's got to be so many pinch-me moments, yes. especially, especially with your new film coming out, Aquaman 2. Yes. Yeah, boy. Pinch me good, pinch me bad. What, up to you. What was a moment? Like a pinch me moment. Like, oh, this is incredible. So, oh, this was so good. Like, this was amazing. No, not amazing. Yeah, Aquaman 2 was pretty good because I got to meet Jason. Yeah. Jason Momoa, who plays Aquaman, he had seen a movie of mine uh, that I did some time ago called Once Were Warriors. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's not your kind of. Uh, you know, your kind of family popcorn, ice cream kind of movie. It was pretty, uh, the content's pretty rough. And uh, Jason had seen this film. And I overheard him telling his uh, kids, you see that guy, he's the reason I got into acting, kids. That guy there. And he's pointing at me. So we kind of uh, inspired him, inspired a lot of people. Um, and, and, that, and that was kind of a moment, meeting Jason and sort of hearing those kinds of things that you know, he was inspired to become an actor from that movie. And this movie, was, there was a woman in this movie played my wife, Rena Owen. And man, she's a just, she was just a powerful force. You know how they say the force is strong in this one? Well, man, she just had big time force going on in her. So, so we really had to lift our game. So um, that was like a pinch me moment there. I hope I answered his question, but let's, uh, I, I'm in Aquaman 2 as well. Yes, you are. Um, yeah, it's, um, I don't want to say too much about Aquaman 2. I'm trying to remember how, yes, I did go to England. I did some scenes. Yes, good. I mean, I am in there. I am in there. And he's in The Flash too? The you Flash, I had a little flash? cameo. Yeah, a little cameo in that Flash. If you watch the trailer of um, Aquaman, he's in the trailer. Did I make the trailer? I was I sitting in that. my room the other night. I'm like, oh, I'll man, sit and watch some TV. That's cool, man. Up comes your bloody face. I'm like, oh, turn the damn TV off. <laughs> I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I mean, I've become the, one of the biggest Star Wars fans in the world. And uh, I would always go and I would preach to people, if there's ever going to be another Boba Fett that could take the, the part or the role, it has to be Tim. Because as a clone, you go back to the original cloning template, right? Which is him. So, 
when I found out it was Tim, oh my God, I could not have been any happier that this wonderful man managed to get the role and he's done a fantastic job with I, it. I think so. it was an age thing too, you know. You, and, uh, you know, uh, me and Ming Na were kind of similar age. It would have been a little weird if me and Ming Na were together on set. Well, I think that's what they were thinking too. Right, so what the hell is going on here? Like Anakin and Padme nephew. all over again. You would have looked like a nephew. <laughs> Who are those people you mentioned? <laughs> Anakin and Padme. Uh, Hayden Let's Christensen and Natalie Portman. They ruined no, my movie. No, it was movie. Jake Lloyd. Oh. <laughs> they were cool though, right? They were cool. Yeah. Did they talk to you? Yeah, that oh. was my first time I ever had emotions go through my body when I saw Natalie Portman come in that white outfit. <laughs> okay. I was like... <laughs> and then her boyfriend showed up, Anakin, I'm like, hey, hey, nice to meet you, sir. But yeah, I mean... I'm, they were great, though, right? They were great. They great were look. Yep. Love story. Yep. We, someone had to do the love story movie. Yes. What about a little bit of a dance there, Dan, to finish this off? Israel, thank you so yeah. much for your time. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Go for Daniel, it. Daniel, can you still remember our dance? Uh, yeah, yeah, of okay. course I remember. Okay, One more time for Tamora Morrison and Daniel Logan. Thank you, everybody. Happy holidays. <laughs>